Welcome back. A new study claims Elizabeth Warren's wealth tax plan would have cost the world's richest people hundreds of billions of dollars over the past two decades had it been in place. Robert Frank is here with more on that. Hi, Robert. Well, if we'll get out the tiny violin, because the richest 15 percent of Americans have a net worth of nearly one trillion dollars. But if the Warren wealth tax had been effect since the early 1980s, it would now have less than half that. A new paper by the two economists who helped create that tax say that aside from raising nearly $200 billion in revenue, their wealth tax would reduce the wealth gap between those at the top and the bottom. Now, the tax would be 2 percent on wealth over $50 million, 3 percent on wealth over a billion if it had been in place since 1982. Jeff Bezos will be worth only $87 billion today instead of $160 last year. Bill Gates. Well, he'd be down to his last $36 billion, losing nearly two-thirds of his fortune because he's had it for so long, and Warren Buffett would have to get by on a mere $30 billion. But you can tell with an annual wealth tax over a long period of time, it really has an impact on well, those top fortunes. It does have an impact, but this is how Warren and Co. should frame it, with these types of statistics, because, as you say, only going to hear small violins playing, not anything large. The, Oh, 36 billion left for Buffett. So what? Right. Still a hell of a lot. Well, I, I think the issue more is how much it would really raise. Right. And, and I think, you know, to the point Larry Summers and others sure. have said, look, it's going to be more like 25 billion a year instead of 200 billion a year. So I don't think anyone's feeling sorry for those who would lose at the very top. The question is, it starts at 50. Now, 50 is a lot of money, but over time, that can really chip away at a family fortune if they have a small business. Absolutely. Robert Frank, thank you for breaking thank you that guys. down Thanks. for us. Yep.